Good evening and welcome back to the news. Uh, following his uh, budget uh, address, uh, the Minister for Finance, National Planning and Trade, Nadi Hassan, has given details on different announcements made in the National Assembly last Friday on the new tax on revenue for medium and large hotels. Minister Hassan said that government officials met with the tourism sector, which has expressed concerns over the 2% tax being imposed. These are expected given that normally when you announce a new tax measure or an increase in tax rate, that's uh, not uh, always positively welcome. But to defend uh, the position of uh, government, uh, assessment then has shown that over the years uh, significant revenue has been uh, made by large hotels but with very little business tax contribution. Uh, that is due to a number of reasons. For example, some hotels might be engaging in transfer pricing. So a turnover tax will make it easier for government to collect taxes from these uh, big businesses that are making a lot of money in the tourism sector and the, uh, the tax collected uh, can be used for the benefits of all Seychellois. A group of students from a secondary level and from the Institute of Arts and Design, SIAD, learned more about the benefits of being an artist. This was during a workshop organized by Z Arts Gallery in collaboration with the Seychelles Youth Council, SNYC, and Creative Seychelles Agency. Z Arts is based in Dubai. Its founder, Zahira Muti, said that the aim of the workshop is to empower the youth by giving them enough information to make sure that the youth make informed decisions. I think it's extremely important to have a follow-up afterwards, after the workshop, that uh, the trainers and teachers uh, keep uh, talking the same language and equip them to, to make sure that the, the, the youth, they understand and they embrace those techniques and tools. But also I would like to thank Creative Social Agency and SNYC for their dedication in supporting the young emerging artists. Um, I think it's a great idea, it's a great initiative that uh, we are very lucky uh, people in Seychelles are very lucky to have and we should support uh, these institutions so that they can deliver more in the future. Police officers who have completed a training course in drone use techniques have received their certificates. This was during a ceremony at the police headquarters attended by the Minister for Internal Affairs, Harold Fonseca, and the Commissioner of Police, Ted Barbie. The training was conducted in collaboration with the Division of Science, Technology and Innovation, whose CEO, Xavier Estico, was also present. Police Commissioner Ted Barbe said police are already using drones in their operations, some of which have produced positive results. CEO Xavier Estico noted that the first stage of the training was done last year and said that the Division of Science, Technology and Innovation is happy to loan the police its drones for another year. Despite the fact that we have no insights in your operational usage of the UAV technology, we are more than sure that you are making good use of it in different circumstances to bring efficiency to your policing work. We at the Division of Science, Technology and Innovation, we are keen to collaborate with the police department in upgrading your technological capacity and capability in all areas that are critical to your roles and responsibilities. Above all, I believe that we all need to help the police to better carry out their duties in law and order for the security and safety of all our citizens. It's an honorable task as agencies of government as well as public. Without the police carrying law and order to ensure that the society is at peace, secure, and safe. 
Plaisance Primary School has launched its hospitality club. The school is the latest to join the hospitality program L'Hospitalité La Fiete Cécile. The Plaisance Primary School Hospitality Club has 15 members. Eden Bleu Hotel is supporting the club. The students had the chance to visit the hotel and experience what working in the tourism sector is like. The head teacher of the school, Thérèse Athanas, has high hopes for the club. The Tourism Club will give pupils the perfect opportunity to broaden their knowledge and provide an awareness on the tourism industry itself. Whether they choose to pursue a career in the mansion industry or not, what better way to nurture a culture of service excellence among our population than by starting with our young, by teaching them and allowing them to be exposed to all the opportunities that tourism has to offer. We hope that a natural love for the industry will start to develop and grow. We've come to the end of this news summary. I will be back with more news in Creole at 8 o'clock, so stay tuned.